Okay, my name is Jeff Gregg, and I'm doing this video on to show you how to quickly move around a document on a phone. First of all, why would you want to? If you're editing a document and uh, you want to move around in the document quite a bit on the phone, uh, having to swipe up, swipe down all the time is a bit of a pain. There's an easier way of doing it. But what you need is to use a different keyboard to be able to do it. And what I mean is a keyboard. That means the virtual keyboard on the machine. And to do this, you do a, docu a, a keyboard called uh, a different keyboard that has other functions on it. And one of them is called uh, Hacker's Keyboard. All right. So explain what the problem is. If uh, we've got a document here that's got an amount of text in it. All right. So if I go into edit the document, which is I'll just touch it there, touching the there. This is actually a word for a um, a um, a word file, a email, all right? So if we go down in the document, now obviously I can slide up and down. This is only a relatively short one, but I can slide up and down, okay? But if I want to quickly move to various parts of the document, how, how do I do that, all right? Um, if it's long and long, very, very long, I have to slide multiple times. I have to slide up and I have to slide down multiple times, okay? But there's a quicker way. And how do you do this? You use what's called Hacker's Keyboard, right? Um, yeah, I think that's called that. Anyway, there's the keyboard there, right? But that's in its normal mode. We can change to a different mode. So what I'm going to do is swipe across the bottom of the keyboard, and you'll notice I get up extra keys. Key from function, control, alt, uh, a tab, also the arrow keys. But if I click on this one, which is function, I get, whoop, function, press it again, I get even more keys. All right, keys like, um, in particular, home, end, all right, uh, page up, page down. So what I can do is I can press page down. Oops, I've got to be in the document itself, do that. Okay, drop that off, press page down, and go to the bottom of the document quick, page up. I can go up and down with the document relatively quick. If I want to go to the end of a line, and I press the end key, press that, and you notice the cursor has jumped to the end of the line. If I press the home key, obviously, which I'm going to test, it jumps quickly to the beginning of the line. So if you're editing documents rather than having to go to the beginning and end of the line all the time, rather than having to you know touch it with your finger, it's quicker to do it this way, just you know, the home and the end key. But you have to have a keyboard that's got this on. Just while I'm at it, I'll show you a few more things, and I'll show you how I got to that particular thing. Let's say I wanted to go a word at a time. If I press the control key and I press right arrow, control, right arrow, control, right arrow, notice it jumps forward a word at a time. Control key, left arrow, or oh, down arrow, sorry, I did it wrong. Control key, left arrow, control key, left arrow, is moving the cursor back a word at a time. Okay. Um, Okay, so that's quickly a quicker way of moving around a document. However, how do you get this keyboard? Well, first of all, you need Hacker's Keyboard, and I'll produce another video, which I'll probably put the link down at the bottom, how to show you how to get this hacker's, how to get the Hacker's Keyboard. But more importantly, how to get all these other keys. Just a matter of interest, I'll switch them all off again. All right? That's the standard layout of a Hacker's Keyboard. And you'll notice the way I got this was by swiping to the left or the right across the keyboard. Now, it doesn't come standard like that. What you've got to do is set it up like that. To be able to set it up like that, what I do is I just uh, I touch, sorry, that particular key there, which is the setup key, and I've got to be in this mode to do that. Touch that particular key, and it comes up, and it says select, you can either select input method or settings for hacker's keyboard. I'm going to go into settings for hacker's keyboard. All right, and these are the various settings for Hacker's Keyboard. And one of the settings, if I scroll down, it's got lots and lots and lots of settings, but one of them is this one here. Gestures and key actions. Now, what I've done is I've set normally swipe, uh, swipe left and swipe right does nothing. Just to show you how I make it do nothing, uh, just switch it there to no action. Swipe left, there's no action. And I'm just touching it there. And also, no action for swipe right. 
okay? Now, you can assign it to any key that you like and uh, do it either way, and you can also use the volume up and the volume down keys, uh, et cetera. But I just decided to use the swipe left and swipe down and use the, the same thing. Uh, you'll notice, so I'm going to change swipe left. So the action of swiping left across the keyboard is going to uh, switch the keyboard layer that on there. Switch the keyboard layer. And I'm going to make swipe right the same thing because I can never remember left, my left or my right. So uh, switch the keyboard layer is going to do the, the same thing. Okay. So now if I come out of that, back out of that again, and I'm on there and I call up the keyboard, all right, you notice it's already got a different function keyboard if I swipe left, right, changes it. I swipe left again, it changes it. Swipe left again, changes it. Swipe left again, it changes it. Swipe left again, it changes it. Or swipe right, it changes it. Left or right does it. You'll notice the keyboard changes. The first, the first one, the standard keyboard, is that one there, whoops, which has just got, you know, the alphabetic keys on it, all right? If I swipe, I get the alphabet. First time I get the alphabetic keys plus these number keys plus these function keys across the bottom, right? And if I swipe again, yet again, I don't think I can get to that one that shows all of it. Then it's a small, uh, same sort of thing only with small keys, right? But I don't know how to get back to that big one. I don't want to obviously like that big one. But anyway, I go to that one, and as I said, when I've got that, and then I attach that key, the FN key, gives me functions. Oops. Then I get all these ones with things like um, backspace, insert, delete, home, end, page up, page down, number lock, scroll lock, uh, all these type of uh, various things, all right? So, uh, and also even function keys. Now, I don't know where on a phone you would ever use function keys, but anyway, this is what I use to quickly move around in a document. In other words, I can just switch to this keyboard and quickly move around the document. Another thing I'll point out too is down the bottom here, if I touch that, right, I can quickly jump back to the normal Google keyboard. If I just go to that one, there we are. That's the normal Google keyboard, okay? Uh, and once again, if I touch that again, right, I can go back to the hacker's keyboard. Going back to the hacker's keyboard, all right? So uh, by having... A keyboard with a lot more functions on it, you can do a lot more things and a lot probably more efficient way. Uh, being able to jump to the end of the line, beginning of the document, end of the document. You could have a, a, a screen that's uh, 50 swipes up or down. And if I just wanted to go to the end of the document, I don't think I showed that one, but I'll as well show that again now. I want to go to the end of the document. Um, I'll press functions now there. I want to go to the end of the document. If I press uh, the whoop, control key plus end, whoop, I'm not in the document. I've got to be at the end I'm in the document, sorry. Control key plus, uh, whoops, do that again. Control key plus end, it takes me to the end of the document. Notice I'm right at the bottom of the document. Okay. If I press the control key, where is it? Control. And plus home takes me right back to the beginning of the document. So it wouldn't matter how many swipe downs it required, it would quickly jump to the beginning of the end. Unfortunately, I, I thought I had enough to be able to demonstrate this, but it takes me quickly to the beginning and end of the document, even if it was thousands of, thousands of screen swipes down, up or down. But there you are. That's how to do that. I've done some other videos, which I'll put at the uh, bottom of this video, of doing various other things like how to do some ed uh, other types of editing uh, with the hacker's keyboard. But I also haven't done, which I'm going to do shortly, is how you get the hacker's keyboard, how you install the hacker's keyboard. Okay, that's enough for now. Got any questions? Give us uh, a um, – drop us an email. See you later.